Tip Tut. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tip Tut. Now, today we're taking a look at finishing off this uh, logo that we created last time. Um, we did the outlines, we vectorized that part of it. We're just going to finish it off now, and we're going to look at adding in these um, little shadows that I've done on these logos over here because I always think they look great and they do add quite a bit. Um, to the logo design makes it look a bit more interesting than just a boring old piece of text. Um, so I'm just going to quickly add a few of these little drops here like that and we'll dive right in. Now this is going to be a lot of the same as previous episode um, but hopefully you'll learn something just by watching along and if you're copying along at home as well um, that's usually uh, uh, useful. Now the pen tool takes a bit of getting used to um, it took me a little while to handle how it works and things like that. So don't worry if you struggle at first, but once you do get used to it, you realize just how, how powerful it is. Um, it's such a useful tool, especially in illustrator. Um, I find it much more useful in illustrator than I do in Photoshop because, uh, in Photoshop and stuff, well, less so in the previous, in the latest versions, because they've introduced smart objects and things. I found I always had to go back and change my paths to tweak them and, on a raster program like Photoshop, that isn't obviously the best thing to do because it's a destructive process. But within Illustrator where it's all vectorized, you can modify to your heart skin tent and you don't lose any quality, which is super, super great. That's really what I love. Um, so yeah, it's great for these kind of conceptual stages of um, artwork because you can mess around till the cows come home and you're never going to damage your artwork irreparably. Um, so I'm not rushing through this, but I'm taking less time to explain what I'm doing than I did in the previous episode, because hopefully you've just come from there. Um, if you haven't, I recommend going back and watching it. It should be in the beginning of this playlist. Um, if I can be bothered to put it in a playlist. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I explained the process of using the pen tool in the previous episode. So I won't go through that again now. Um, what I will do is explain my thought process behind this. So basically when I was sketching this, um, I wanted it to be kind of like a calligraphy style, but as if it was clearly hand drawn. Um, and the way you can sort of still have that um, in a vector kind of arena, if that's the right word, um, is if you work with the freehand pen tool here, you can kind of just get these really smooth lines just by clicking um, and it kind of what's the word it smooths them out a bit more for you if you use this freeform pen tool now I'm using the also called the curvature tool sorry no whatever freeform pen um, and I'm still using the pen tool because I'm most comfortable with it but I do recommend taking a look at this curvature pen tool because it does help in the same way that when you draw a line with flash um, with say pressure sensitivity on or something it smooths out your lines for you however the pen tool you get exactly what you draw now i'm a bit more comfortable with the pen tool because i've been using it for a while if you haven't i'd recommend using the curvature tool because it deals with a lot of those niggly um detaily bits for you which is a lot of not a great use actually um, when you're first starting out because it smooths out all those really annoying lumpy bits um that's something just to be aware of. You don't have to use the pen tool. You can use the curvature tool instead if you're not comfortable with it yet. Um, it, like a lot of Adobe products, there's a million ways to do the same thing. There's no right and wrong way. There's only the way that works for you. Um, and if it works for you, then that is the right way. Simple. Anybody who tells you you're doing it wrong, if you get the same result, um, is wrong, <laughs> basically. Uh, I mean, their way might be more efficient or whatever, but if you don't like that way of doing things, don't have to do it that way. Um, you're the one making the artwork in the end, so you're the one that needs to be comfortable when you're making it. Okay, so we're just going to finish off this N here by pushing that out quite far. And uh, the escape button here really is your friend um, because it allows you to create those sharp corners that otherwise you'd be wrestling with the pen tool to create. Um, ooh. I might have to mm, I have to bring that out a bit more. See if it looks a bit better. Let's see how that looks. It might be too thick. Let's see. Depends how we bring it around here because we don't want it to be too 
thick towards the end if it's thin around this section because that looks weird and lumpy. But you know what, that might look okay. We'll see when we come to the final product. Um, if we do that as well, and bring it into a sharp corner there so we can have it come up like so. Curve around like so. Hit escape to make it a sharp corner. Come around for the top of the end. Pull this all the way down. So you can see the top of the end there. The further you pull this, the more it pushes it out towards that other point, which gives you a bit of a sharper corner, a bit more control. Then let's bring this around here. And then all the way up. And we'll anchor it there. And finish it off. Perfect. There we go. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing to do is these last few little drops here. And like so. Um, I find these, it's best not really to plan them. Uh, it's just best to do them uh, and not think too much about it. And then you get the more natural shapes um, because they're supposed to be sort of splatters, you know, at the end of the line. Um, so the other thing was this N, wasn't it? It looks a bit close because it's cut out. So it looks like it's kind of joining um, this eye here. Uh, so we'll fix that now. Um, we'll grab this path and we'll hit the individual selector tool and we'll just delete. Oops, maybe not that point then. As soon as it comes down there, maybe what we'll do is we'll move that point rather than deleting it and move it along to here. Then if you go back to your pen tool and click on the last point, you can just add these in as if nothing ever happened. Like, oh, what's going on there? Right, okay, so we have to do it like that. Okay, so we'll finish that up. Bring that all the way up here. This one kind of looks weird. So if we control click that point to select it and hit smooth, that gives us a smooth point to work with. And we can kind of fix that um, weird angle that we had going on. And we'll do the same one here by bringing that in a bit, I think. Yeah, that looks better. That looks more like a separate letter now because we haven't done that cutaway thing like we have here. Cool, perfect. So the last step then is to grab everything we just made, you can join it together so it's nice and neat in your layers panel. And then you get rid of the stroke and you add the color. Um, you can see here that this, where I did the minus front using Pathfinder last time has cut it out, but it hasn't done that on the A. So what we do to fix that is you go inside and um, you grab this path and you push it down. And then you can see this path on top and this path here. And then you just hit minus front and that cuts that out. Um, and then we hide that. And then we go, you've got an inner man logo vectorized from text. Now, it doesn't look perfect, um, but this was just a draft that I was working on. So what I'm going to do now is add in these little drop shadows. Uh, I'll fast forward it because I've done a tutorial on this before and I'll put a link to it so you can um, go and watch it. But I'm just going to add these here and see what that looks like. But you can see the difference already. This, because it's a font, is perfect and very smooth and very refined. And this, because it's made from hand-drawn art, is a bit looser. Still looks like it was actually drawn with a brush rather than is a predetermined font, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to dive in and do these shadows. And um, maybe we'll leave it there. So thanks for watching, buddy. I'll see you next time. Enjoy this little time lapse. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.